Yo, it's Club I'm on Dragon Ball Legends English Twitter page and we have the Dragon Ball Legends data mine right here. We have some exciting news, but before I talk about that, I'm just going to uh, just scroll up and talk about what's happening, but you can kind of see what's happening from here, but it doesn't matter. Let's just go through it. So battle gauntlet against chilled. So yeah, we've, you know, they, I mean, look, they, we did get a battle gauntlet. Then we got Android 21's uh, battle gauntlet. I mean, it wasn't called battle gauntlet, but there was pretty much a battle gauntlet. Now we're getting this. Um, it's it's fine they did this, in my opinion. I know you're probably thinking it's grateful, but they didn't give us a battle gauntlet for like... Like, I think they owed us a battle gauntlet, so... I'm pretty sure that's why they gave us the Android 21 uh, gauntlet, like, between Super Saiyan Goku and Shield. So yeah, everything is back to normal. I'm um, just going to do it every second week, but because they just had a, a period where they didn't give it to us, I guess that's why they just released all these Zenkais in a, like... Le yeah, just in a few weeks time, which is great. So you're getting 700 Chrono Crystals and um, Chilled Zenkai for free. Now let's go up here. I'll just like everything I see, by the way, just to show support. Um, yes, we are getting a new Legends All-Star. and We are getting Times 20 Kaioken Goku and Revival Final Form Frieza. What the hell, man? Like, I knew we were going to be getting a new All-Star because we haven't had an All-Star for the longest time in Dragon Ball Legends. So, I'm glad we're finally getting one, and it's actually very, very good characters, hopefully. I mean, they're, they're pretty cool characters. I'm glad they're doing more Namek Saga. Lineage of Evil needed this. Like, that's such a dead tag. You know, I know they just got a Zenkai, which is chilled. But honestly, they need more support, so I'm glad they're getting a new All-Star character. And it's a Revival Freezer too, which is perfect, because... Honestly, yeah, he did revive, technically, because Spirit Bomb hit him, he came back out of nowhere, and yeah. Um, and this, you know, a lot of people have been wanting a Times 20 Kaioken Goku for the longest time. So I'm glad we're getting a new Kaioken Goku. Um, Look, I'm going to save my Chrono Crystals, if you're going to wonder if I'm going to summon on this. Um, but I'm going to try and get them with daily discounts. So I don't think I'm going to do nothing with this banner. I really want these characters. I just want to see what the next LF is that's coming out for Dragon Ball Battle Hour, you know, which will be revealed in February. But don't think I don't want these characters. I even want Freeza. I don't even main Lineage of Evil. But I'm just going to be doing daily discounts. Um, and hopefully I get them, or even just with tickets. Um, just kind of wish I've been doing um, co-op now so I can uh, pretty much get the tickets with the co-op medals. So this is just another picture for the banner. Um, new equipment for Bardock. <laughs> I love this scene in the actual, um, the OVA, 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 I forgot. Um, OVA, yeah. I really love that scene. It's like Bardock and he's just eating the, the food. It's really nice. Um, Legends All-Star 12, so that's the ticket. I'm pretty sure that's it. So, just the Battle Gauntlet and a new Goku and Freezer coming out. I'll check if Miguel has uploaded anything different. And we've got to show that support as well. Don't think I forgot. <laughs> Alright, so on Miguel's Twitter, we actually have the renders for the new characters coming out. Which, yeah, they look really good. That freeze, like, they both look good. This looks good, but this one is just, like, so perfect, man. Oh, man, that's so good. This is really great. Oh, man, this is good. All right, uh, we actually have their kits. Oh, look. That's nice. So, we'll see, like, a Spirit Bomb animation, hopefully. In the revival animation, I guess. So, I guess this is um, Freeza's background, and this is Goku's background. I guess. All right, let me have a look. So I have some sleeves. So that's how the chilled sleeves are going to look. We have a kit already. All right, um, let's read Goku. So main ability, draw the ultimate arts card uh, 20 times Kai Ken Kamehameha next. Store on health by 30% and key by 40. Restore zone vanishing gauge by 100% and you draw an ultimate arts card and you restore, oh my God. Buys a tribute upgrade, shortens substitution count by free to self for 20 time accounts requirements, 25 time accounts must elapse. Um, passive 1 plus 50% to damage inflicted against element purple, cannot be cancelled, reduces damage received from element purple by 25%, cannot be cancelled. Oh my god, we have a counter to purple, let's go. The following effects occur every time this character uses a strike art. Restores on key by 5, plus 10% to damage inflicted up to 40%, plus 5% to damage inflicted by allies up to 20%, 10% to 
Falling effects occur upon landing a strike arts hit, so inflict um, inflicts enemy for tribute downgrade plus 10% to damage received for 15 time accounts. Inflicts enemy for tribute uh, downgrade minus 30% to health restoration for 15 time accounts. Draw strike arts card next activates once. Um, activation counts reset when character switch. Oh wow, okay. Passive 2. Supplies the flowing effects itself when battle starts, plus 50% to damage inflicted, cannot be cancelled, reduces damage received by 30%, cannot be cancelled, applies the flowing effects itself when this character enters the battlefield, restores key by 20, plus 15% to damage inflicted for 15 time accounts, reduces damage received by 20% for 10 time accounts, restores and vanish engage by 70% when this character evades an enemy attack with a vanishing step, activates twice. Oh my god. Blue card, deal major impact damage, restores and key by 30, um, activation, so, I'm uh, sorry, upon activation, inflicts enemy for tribute downgrade, plus 20% to strike damage received for 15 time accounts on hit. Yeah, this Goku seems really good, I'm not gonna lie. So green card, applies the flying effects itself upon activation, restores key by 20, plus 20% to strike damage inflicted for 20 time accounts. Plus 50% to key recovery for 20 time accounts. Applies uh, buff effect nullifies enemy special actions. Activate when changing cover for 10 time accounts. Combable arts or strike, blast, special arts, and special move arts. So I guess it's an AoE special skill unless it's one that goes forward. Uh, actually, no, it might be something that goes forward because you can chain um, a special skill to a special skill. So yeah, it won't... Oh, sorry, blast armor we're charging for. Okay, so it's something he'll do. He will go forward, and that's what he will do. Okay, so it's not an AOE special skill. It's not a blast he does like Yellow Vegito. It's just, yeah, he'll just go forward. Ultimate Arts deals massive impact damage, applies the following effects itself upon activation, plus 40% to ultimate damage inflicted for free time accounts, applies attribute upgrade minus 50% enemy sustained damage cut effects for free time accounts, uh, reduces enemy key by 60 on hit. Wow, okay. So Z ability. So it's going to be Saiyan, Base Strike, Attack, and Defense. So then it's going to be 24% to Saiyan or Episode Freezer Saga. And then, um, oh wow. So let me have a look. So also Sun... Oh wait. So Free Stars. So this. Or... And Defense during Battle. Plus 2% to tag Sun Family um, Strike at Arts Damage Inflicted. Oh wow, okay. So Sun Family is going to be getting 2% more strike damage and 30% to Tag Sane or Episode Freezer Saga, Base Strike Attack and Defense during battle. So I guess that will be the Z ability free, um, where you just get like 2% to Tag Sun Family, um, you know, Strike Attack, uh, Strike Guard Damage Inflicted. So I guess like kind of like Ultra Gogeta Z ability, how he has like a few percent to special move damage inflicted to Super Saiyan. So it's kind of like that. Yeah, Goku seems uh, pretty cracked. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, he seems pretty broken. Hopefully he's good. Just uh, like all these, by the way. All right, now I'm pretty sure we have Frieza. Oh, right, Frieza's finally here, okay. So, final form Frieza main ability, draw special arts card next. Shortens ally substitution counts by three, nullify, uh, nullifies own attribute downgrades and abnormal conditions for 50 time accounts. Seals one enemy card slot randomly, oh wow. The sealed cards. Oh my god! Just yeah. All right. The sealed card slot cannot be used for ten time accounts. Requirements: ten time accounts must elapse. That's annoying. Um, passive one: revive with seventy percent uh, health. Whoa. Okay. When own health reaches zero, if your own health reaches zero due to enemy self-destruct attack, this character will not revive. Oof. Uh, but that's fine. You know who? Who you like? Cyberman. That's it. Uh, Android sixteen. Applies the following effects itself when battle starts, plus 80% to damage inflicted, cannot be cancelled, reduces damage received by 30%, cannot be cancelled, uh, plus 50% to key recovery, cannot be cancelled, oh wow. So 80% damage inflicted at the start, huh? Applies the following effects to enemy every time when faced with an enemy, inflicts a tribute downgrade, plus 15% to damage uh, received for 15 time accounts, uh, inflicts a tribute downgrade, so minus 40% to health restoration for 15 time accounts. Let me see here. So applies the following effects itself when this character enters the battlefield. So restores key by 20, plus 20% 20 of blast damage inflicted for 15 time accounts. So I guess it'll just be a blast character, so a ranged character. Applies the following effects to allies when this character is switched to standby. Restores key by 20, plus 20% 20 of damage inflicted for 15 time accounts. Um, also restores ally tag freezer force or tag lineage of evil, health by 5%. 
Okay, that's pretty cool. Um, blue card deals major explode damage, randomly destroys two enemy cards on hit. Oh, wow, okay. So green card restores when key by 30 upon activation. The following effects occur on hit. Draw blast arts card next. Inflicts enemy for tribute downgrade, plus five to special arts cost. Um, and then strike blast arts, special arts. Hmm, okay. Pretty interesting. Um, now let's check out his uh, revival version. Transform the main ability, draw special move arts card next. Restores on key by 50, shortens ally substitution counts by 3, reduces enemies Dragon Balls by 2. Oh my god. Requirements 5 time accounts must elapse. Uh, transformed passive, the following effects occur upon revival, reduces enemy key by 50, nullifies own unfavorable element factors for 30 time accounts cannot be cancelled, plus 30% to special move damage inflicted cannot be cancelled, minus 10% to own damage received cannot be cancelled, applies the following effects to enemy every time when faced with an enemy, um, inflicts a tribute downgrade plus 15 to damage received for 15 time accounts, Inflicts uh, tribute downgrade minus 40% to health restoration for 15 time accounts. Um, so, unique ability 2 applies the following effects itself when his character enters the battlefield. Restores key by 20 plus 20% to blast damage inflicted for 15 time accounts. Applies the following effects to allies when this character uh, is switched to standby. Restores key by 20 plus 20% to damage inflicted for 15 time accounts. Also restores ally attack, freezer force, or tag damage of evil, health by 5%. The transform blue card deals massive impact damage, plus 15 to, uh, sorry, 15% to special move damage inflicted for free time accounts upon activation. Randomly destroys two enemy cards on hit. Oh boy, all right. Transformed green card restores and key by 30 upon activation. The following effects occur on hit. Draw blast arts card next. Uh, minus 5 to earn Blast Arts cost for 15 time accounts. Uh, it flicks all enemies with 3 substitution counts, activates twice. So, Convobble Arts, Strike Blast, Special Arts, Special Move Arts. Um, so, Z ability, Tag Freezer Force. Um, so, Base Blast Attack and Defense. And then uh, Z ability 3 will be um, Freezer Force or Powerful Opponent. Uh, so, 24%. And then Z ability 3 will be plus 30% to Freezer Force, Tag Powerful Opponent. And also um, plus 15 to characters that are both uh, Tag Powerful Opponent and Tag Ninja of Evil, Base Blast Attack during Battle. Oh, wow. So they're going to be doing like 45% worth of Blast if they are Lineage of Evil and Powerful Opponent. That's pretty crazy. Alright, we don't have the colors right now, unfortunately, but yeah, they seem really good. Uh, Freezer seems good, but Goku just seems crazy, but Freezer seems cool, I will say. Like, it is a nice buff to the team. But yeah, that's pretty much it. I'm going to end it here. Let me know what you think about these two if you're going to be summoning, and I will see you later. Bye!